Today I'll teach you how to change the text on a website, in this case my YouTube subscriber account, to something else, like this. <laughs> I've used this many times. Like when I made my 1000 subscriber special, I could record the video ahead of time, and that was really useful, I think. I'll also teach you how to animate this text to go even higher, like this. Well, anyway, this effect doesn't use any image or video processing software, and it's really easy to do. All you need is to open your developer tools. Just go here, I'm using Google Chrome, but other browsers have similar features, and more tools, developer tools. And they will appear somewhere on the screen. Now, this website seems to have some errors here, and we can clear them out by pressing this button. To make any text on this page editable, you could type document design mode and set it to on. When you do this, any text you click on on the page, you can edit it and you can make any value appear there. It's really that easy. But I'm also going to teach you another way a more advanced way that we can use to make that animation. So let me just go here and set this design mode to off. Now that doesn't work, I can't change the text anymore. But what I can do is click this button right here to inspect an element on the page and press the thing that I want to change or animate. After we do this, we are going to see this elements tab show up and it selects this element from the HTML DOM tree that we want to edit. And what we do is right click on it and set as global variable. This opens this console tab and says that our variable is called temp1. You can type things here, but I prefer to go to this other console tab. It's the one that we used previously. And here we can now refer to this temp1 and change its inner content. We do that by typing temp1.innerHTML is equal to and the value that we want to add. In this case, I'm just going to type here a string and say 1, 234, 567, a large number. And when we press enter, the value changed. Now, to animate this, we are going to type a bit more code. We will initialize a variable with a value that we want to start at, in this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And after that, we are going to begin an interval. I write these on new lines here in the console, and to make a new line, I hold Shift and press Enter. That way, it won't execute the code until we press just enter. And here, I'm going to say set interval and define a callback function that is going to, again, pressing shift and enter, decrease this subcount value by one, like so. After we do that, we press again Shift and Enter and set the inner HTML of temp1 to this subcount. Shift and Enter one more time, close the curly brace, and here we have to specify the other parameter of this set interval, and that's how quickly we want to refresh the number. I'm going to use 100 milliseconds for this. Let's put a semicolon here. And now when we press enter, we see the number going down slowly. <laughs> I've used a higher value to decrease on each frame previously. Okay, but this number doesn't look exactly the same as before. We are missing those comma separator values. And I initially wrote some function to do that, but then found a more elegant solution online. And I'm going to point you to that. 
it's somebody asking the question on Stack Overflow and we'll use here the first answer. And I'm going to take this function from here, copy it and paste it into the console. If you want to know why it works, you can check this explanation right here. It's really good. Now I'm going to go back here, paste this function into the console and now I can use it to format any number in the same way that YouTube wants. But actually this counter is already going here. So let's refresh the page so that we start with a new instance. And now let's clear the console here, paste the function that we got from that website. And we have to redefine this as a global variable. So press this button here, select it. And then in this elements here, right click on it, set as global variable go to the console and we redo everything once again. We'll let sub count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then shift and enter set interval, a callback function, shift and enter sub count and let's decrease it by a large value now so that the number goes down quicker. I just use here one, two, three, three. And now next line, we set the inner HTML and we type here number with commas, the name of this function and pass sub count. So this is going to format our number in the way that YouTube has it formatted by default. Now shift and enter, close the curly brace and the second parameter, I'm going to use 10 milliseconds this time. So it's even faster and let's press enter. And you can see the number first went up and now it's going down, down, down. Great. It's like when I publish a new video with this master skier character. Oh, okay. And it's going even to negative values now. Sounds like a good homework task for you to limit it somehow. Hope you liked this and see you guys.